And we're back. What was I saying? Oh. What was uh, I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Shit, I don't want to say something. We was talking about music, TikTok. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah after you're, five you're, you're years, TikTok, I TikTok. Yeah, after five years, I finally downloaded. And I was like, what the f*** is this all about? And then I started seeing stuff. And I was like, okay, I'll see what we got here. All right. So one day I made a post. It's like, oh, people like it. All right. Do another one. Another one. Another one. Yeah, another one. Yeah. Another one. Another one. And now I'm sitting with, I just hit, well, I'm about to hit 5,700, but I just hit 5,600 followers, bro. And Damn. I'm like, damn, I did that within <laughs> a year. Like, I posted on YouTube, done this, done that, done numbers on there. But, like, the numbers is different on TikTok, man. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck Instagram, fuck Snapchat, <laughs> fuck all that. But TikTok numbers is different, bro. Oh, like, no, for real. Everybody on there, everybody see everything. But I'm very careful what I post. But I be posting shit that make people happy and smile. I post music. I post meme skits whatever the fuck like but yeah. yeah it's you know catch up on shirt you know what i'm saying that's catch the name up on shirt catch up speaking of how i got that name how i got the name catch up on shirt it has nothing to do with wanting to murder i'm not promoting <laughs> criminal activity catch up on shirt was when i was like i said in that deep isolation mode and i felt like i died many times man like i done died and came back died and came back Character assassinated multiple mm. times. I'm taking gunshots everywhere. And it just felt like, well, my ketchup. I spilled ketchup on my shirt so many goddamn times. And that's how I came up with the handle. Wow. So if you want to fuck with the TikTok, catch up on shirt. Catch up on shirt. Literally. Uh, <laughs> catch up on shirt. Yeah, man. So that's that's the thing. When I started releasing music, I like I like the idea. I like the the concept of that. But you know, like people artists change their names. They have like a stage name. I'm just gonna keep my name. I'm gonna be real. I'm just gonna keep keep my name. Just make it easy. That's original in itself. Like some people might like with Schoolboy Q. He was just called Q, but he's he was going to college and he was back yeah. and forth with TDE. But he's been a person that can learn quick and everything. And one day it was like they just started calling him Schoolboy Q because he just learned so fast. Yeah. So it naturally came Schoolboy Q. Like Q is in his real name, but Schoolboy. But then with some artists, Drake, that's a well, universal uh, name now. Yeah. I mean, that's not his real name. Yeah. Boy, it's not Aud real name. Aubrey, Aubrey Graham. Aubrey Graham. Yeah. Kanye West, he started off with his real name. Now it's is... Yay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's uh, Yay. Who else? Who else got Damn, a... who, who does use their real name? Taylor Swift. Fuck it. Taylor she Swift. uses her real name. <laughs> yes. Iconic. 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 Very iconic, but Vicente, yes. I couldn't think. Also, I can't think of another name that like fits me other than my own name. Yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But at least, like, because, like, that's the thing. Like, when people hear that name, you want them to think about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want it to be, like, of course it's made up, like, Childish Gambino or whatever. But when you hear that name, you know it's Donald Glover, obviously. Yeah. But, like, as long as you put out that work and everything and whatever sound that's, Oh, I know this sound. That's Vicente. Like, that's nobody else's sound. I know that sound. Like, that's just like with any song you listen to. You just know who's the inspiration or whose yep. sound it is. But yeah, yeah, man. Like, ain't no one with not having a stage name. That is your stage <laughs> name. You know what I'm saying? Vicente. I'll tell you, just keep my name. It makes it easier. Yeah. I see it. And hopefully people will pronounce it right. At some at one point, if I if I if, when I get big, I want it to be like, I don't have to saying what my name is you know what i mean because you know like in high in school everyone mispronounces my name a bunch every time a substitute come in vicente vincent i'm just like that's not my oh name. that'd be worse vincent i could tell just just how your face when you said vincent because i knew another yeah. vicente and they would butcher his name bad even, even at work like i i put in my name i told him my name they still say vincent even on like on my badge it says Vincente, and I'm like, that's not my name. But I like at this point, I'm not, I can't change it. Yeah, I just gotta deal gotta, with it. Un gotta I'm deal not. with it. Got to deal with it. It's unfortunate, but we'll get there. We'll get there. You know, we deal with a lot of things every day, but it is what it is. You kind of just have to deal with it and roll with it. And if you don't want to roll with it, change it. 
you know what I'm saying? You can always change your environment, change everything. Like nobody's stopping you. Yeah. And right now, like I said, I'm having that change. It's the same thing I've been wanting to do. I stopped myself. Nobody else stopped me. We here, baby. We getting it rolling. We getting it going. I you know what I'm saying. I'm here. I'm about to have so much fun doing what I like to do, man. Like, I know you've been waiting, just waiting, waiting. I've been waiting. I'm telling you, man. Waiting. This is, I love this stuff. You can, I'm, you I'll, can, huh? I love me. I love me conversations. I don't, I feel like I don't have, I don't talk with enough people. Yeah. Like, like it's always surface level. I need, you know, I like a little, little down deeper. Yeah. Talk in, in depth. Let's go down that iceberg rabbit hole. You know what I'm saying? What's to the nitty gritty, nitty gritty. What you've been consuming? What type of content you've been consuming though? Lately? Who's been on your radar? My radar. It's the, it, lately. I you know I back then I would listen to a lot. I mean, if we're talking music, uh, I yeah. listen. To, I used to listen to like a lot of rap, a lot of rap. Um, I was pretty pretty consistent with that. Um, but now being like over here and I've been working on my own music, I've been listening to a lot and make like I listen to a lot of Mexican music, my my people music, yeah, um, my people, my people's music, La raza. <laughs> yeah, oh, mi raza, and uh, I don't. It's it's like. Help me kind of have my identity. Like I, most of my life, I struggle, you know, identifying as a as a Mexican. It's just like I, I feel like I could never connect. And now that I'm like I'm making music and I'm like yeah. being around more people of my my culture, it's it's more fulfilling. It's like I'm more proud to sing in Spanish, write music in Spanish, play this type <laughs> yeah. of music. Um, so that's that's been a big thing I've been consuming a lot. It's just just like. The sound, what I want to make, just speaking more Spanish, singing in Spanish. Um, yeah, this has been a lot of that content. I don't, I don't really be watching stuff. I mean, I, I sit at home, maybe watch YouTube, but yeah. I don't, I don't binge nothing. I don't watch no Netflix, <laughs> no Hulu. Hey. Although I've been watching, I have been watching Shameless, Shameless on Netflix. Pretty it's a pretty good show. It's a pretty good hey, show. Hell yeah. But that's a but, timeless show right there. It's good. I I mean, even even like the first few seasons where they're like an old I forgot what year they're in, but obviously it's, it looks like it's like two thousand something. Yeah. But even then it holds up. It's a good show. I'm on like season seven already. It holds its own. Just like with Breaking Bad, that show holds its own. Like even though it's a two thousands, two thousand ten show, it I holds its own. Haven't seen it yet. That's the only problem. I haven't Ooh. seen it yet. Oh, I can't I can't I can't ruin it for you, but please I mean watch. I see I've seen a lot of clips on TikTok. Most of the shows I, I wanna watch or have watched, I've seen clips on TikTok. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> okay. I can't give it I'll give so, it a try. There's just one clip, right? And I'm gonna get back to the whole music thing, but I there's this one clip on Breaking Bad where he's under the house and he's looking please. for his stash, his, you know, the coat, you know what I'm saying? Like, he needs his product. And his wife, you know, the top tech came by and everything. She got so scared, she got rid of it. And he really needed that product. And he's yeah. under the house like, what the fuck did you Is do? That the one like, Is that the one he's like laying down? Yeah, and he starts he's like losing like, it. <laughs> He screamed, but then he started laughing, and it's like, oh shit, like. Oh, bro lost his mind. He did lose his mind, bro. Heisenberg. Hi, Mr. White. Mr. White, family. Mr. White, Mr. White. yo, Mr. White. White, Mr. White. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but with the whole identity tip, man, like, that's very important. I'm glad that you're somewhere where you feel where you're seen and where you don't have to question your, uh, question yourself where you fit in, like, is very natural and organic where you fit in. And I love that for you. And I've been on my um, identity search and everything. And I found out a few things about my family when I got in touch with different sides of the family. Like there's lineage with uh, indigenous family. There's lineage mm -hmm. and, you know, obviously even in Africa, but I don't know where I come from exactly and what tribe and the native tongue I come from. Right. And I, I noticed growing up, like, you know, uh, hanging around different people, uh, particularly uh, Spanish people, like a lot of times y'all y'all know where y'all come from in Mexico and everything. And, you know, that made me question, like, where the fuck? I, I know I'm from Africa, but where and everything? Like my mm -hmm. whole thing, we just are, we don't, our history has been cut off. Our history has been terrorized and has been, you know, gone and erased uh, mm -hmm. uh, system, systematically and all that, bro. But 
yeah, I'm still working on that with my whole identity and everything. But, you know, life goes on and I'm getting better every day. But that whole identity thing is very important, I feel like, yeah. in, in it's, life. Yeah, especially like just growing and getting older. It's just like, it's always the question, like, who who am I? Who, yeah. who, who am I going to be? Because it's always like, I know who I am. But then you're, you're really like, you're having problems or you're you're sitting in your bed and you're like, man, I feel like crap. What's wrong with me? It's like, yeah. but you don't really know what's wrong with your, like, who you are, what's, what's your needs. Yeah. So, like, sitting down and actually, like, feeling what you feel and understanding why you feel that way. Yeah. Uh, how to, like, I'm not going to say fix yourself, but how to, like, help yourself through those times. is like, yeah. it's a big thing of learning, like, who you are. Because, like, is. I mean, no one else, no one else is going to do it. If you, if you even, you don't know. Imagine someone asks yeah. you, what do you do to do this? I'm like. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, where do you begin? But you kind of just got to start, man. Like, you just got to reach out to your people the best way you can and then go from there, I feel like. Like, that's just what I did when I reached out with my family. And I'm still am. I'm still continuing that strive as I get older, you <laughs> know, and wiser, and you know, gather more information. Yeah. But I, I really I'm... just want that yeah. answer. 